Katia V5. I'm over here with generative shape design and we're gonna take a look at the following feature which will be combine. As we can see combine will be available within the wireframe section over here and this will be the second one underneath projection. Now if I will press shift F1 we're gonna see that combine will create geometry resulting from the intersection of the extrusion of two elements along two directions. There are actually two methods that we can use combine so if I will select combine we're gonna see that the first type will be normal and within the normal we can define an intersection between two curves for example the one over here in red and the one in light teal blue if I will click preview we're gonna see that that the nearest solution will be this one and we're gonna have that newly defined and within the product tree this will have the feature of the combine over here so we see the same icon over here we can also use combine differently if we're gonna go and choose it along directions we're gonna see that for each of uh, those curves we're gonna have a direction as well so for example if i will choose curve one to be the same curve two the one on the top and we can add a direction for example for this curve i will add the line at the top as direction and we can also input other elements we don't have to add wireframe elements such as line and splines and uh, even some uh, points we can add i can add a direction to be for example the x component over here if i will click preview we're gonna see that the newly defined combine wireframe element will be this one i will also change the colors because usually when you are working with injustice design and you are doing various um, intersections and so on it is highly recommended that you want to change the graphic appearance of the line so that you can better visualize those now to highlight the functionality of this uh, this feature i will go over here where i have the panton chair modeled so as you can see over here we have one part which is the reference part and the second one will be the design of the chair if i will hide the reference image we're gonna see that i have over here a line so this will be line one we have a spline on top afterwards i join those together so this will act again just like a single wireframe element so we can use that within combine and I have combined that over here, which will be the resulting combine one element, the one highlighted now over here. And I made that using an intersection of uh, sketch one and join one. So if I will double click on combine, we're going to see that the first curve will be join one, which is the line and the spline over here at the top. The second one will be sketch one which is a simple sketch if i will go within that we're gonna see that this is a sketch that was created within um within a plane and it will trace the profile the outer profile of that chair and afterwards we can use that combine to work within geometry shape design so as you can see over here we're gonna have some um, extrude elements afterwards we're gonna do some filling and we're gonna start to shape that chair so initially i extruded that uh, that profile over here in this case for 50 millimeters it is not important the total amount but it is important to have a surface therefore i can uh, go with um with the filling and all those field sections over here of the chair will have the support over here so that we're gonna maintain the the tangency within a surface so that is really important if you want to model elements and you don't want that uh, symmetry line to to appear so this is where combine is very useful as we can see the chair will not have any seam lines on the middle since we respected that uh, support tangency okay so i hope that you find this video useful if you enjoy this kind of content you can find additional uh, 
videos over here. So I have Katia V5 tips and tricks playlist. As we can see, the total video amount is um, 184. And this video will go again within uh, within the playlist. So consider to give this playlist uh, a check. And I'm sure that you will find various solutions to your um, Katia V5 questions. So as you can see, the total amount of views for the playlist is not very high. But you're going to see that the playlist will contain a lot of good tips and tricks that um, that will help you improve your workflow. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoy this kind of content. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.